your glory proclaim. On earth we, your children, invoke your fair name. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. We gather here in this holy place right here at this place of Our Lady's apparition to the three children. We give thanks to God for gathering here right before the small chapel that Our Lady asked to be built here to commemorate that moment. We gather in this holy place and we give thanks for the Mother of God, the Mother of the Church. We praise Our Lady of Fatima. And brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Father, you have given us the mother of your Son to be our mother also. Grant that by obeying the appeals of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may always work through prayer and penance for the kingdom of Christ and attain eternal happiness. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. I, John, saw a new heaven and a new earth. The first heaven and the first earth had disappeared now, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city and the new Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven, as beautiful as a bride all dressed for her husband. Then I heard a loud voice call from the throne. You see this city? Here God lives among men. He will make his home among them. They shall be his people, and he will be their God. His name is God with them. He will wipe away all tears from their eyes. There will be no more death and no more mourning or sadness. The world of the past has gone. Then the one sitting on the throne spoke. Now I am making the whole of creation new. This is the word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. You are the highest honor of our race. May you be blessed, my daughter, by the God most high, beyond all women on earth. And may the Lord God be blessed and the creator of heaven and earth. You are the highest honor of our race. The trust you have shown shall not pass from the memories of men, but shall ever remind them of the power of God. You are the highest honor of our race. God grant you to be always held in honor and rewarded with blessings 
since you did not consider your own life when our nation was brought to its knees. You are the highest honor of our race. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas and Mary of Magdala. Seeing his mother and the disciple he loved standing near her, Jesus said to his mother, Woman, this is your son. Then to the disciple he said, This is your mother. And from that moment, the disciple made a place for her in his home. The Gospel of the Lord. In my own life, The beautiful story of these apparitions is so intertwined with my own vocation. As a boy, probably the age of the three children, and desiring to become a priest, the story of these apparitions was captivating to me. It was easy to identify with Jacinta and Francesco and Lucia very much. Fatima came alive again for me when Pope Francis came to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the apparitions. I've been thinking in preparation for pilgrimage here of the beautiful prayer that he spoke at this site. He looked at this image of Our Lady and he spoke of her in her white and gold garments as being clothed in paschal light. I love that image. Paschal light, the triumph of Easter. Really, to that image of paschal light, it reminded me of the baptismal garment. And it brought alive in a new way the story of those three children and how Our Lady helped them, perhaps as never before, to really understand, to appreciate, to live the gift of their baptism. So Francesco would sneak into the parish church where he was baptized and pray there quietly, each of them, each of them seeking nothing more than holiness of life. And at this place, at this holy place, as we will experience the candlelight procession that takes place here each evening, calling us too to seek to be clothed in Paschal light, to rediscover the gift of our own baptism, to recognize in that devotional candle that we hold, to realize the baptismal candle and the call given to each of us at baptism to love God and to love our neighbor. May we not only proudly walk at this holy place with that light, the light of baptism in our hands, but may we seek too, emboldened by this place, like those three children, like them, to really seek nothing more than life in Christ, to live out the gift of our baptism, to not only walk here with those candles, but to walk to the poor and to those in need, to live out the spiritual and corporal works of mercy 
to be faithful and true and loving God and loving our neighbor. And then, just as Pope Francis also prayed in that prayer several years ago, he spoke about that light that comes really from the hands of our Blessed Mother. May we, in this Eucharistic liturgy, may we experience that light warming and filling our hearts. Here at this sacred spot where the Most Holy Virgin Mary appeared, let us present our prayers to God our Father, who gave us the mother of his Son to be our mother. For all the faithful, that by obeying the appeals of Mary and a spirit of true penance and prayer, they may work wholeheartedly for the renewal of the world and for the kingdom of Christ, we pray to the Lord. For those who exercise sacred ministry in the church, that they may be attentive to the word of God, love it and proclaim it with fidelity and enthusiasm as Mary did. We pray to the Lord. Lord for those who govern nations, that they may work for justice and peace in the world and harmoniously collaborate in the just distribution of earthly goods among all the inhabitants of the world. We pray to the Lord. For all those who suffer, that in union with Mary, consoler of the afflicted, in the loving care of others, and in the contemplation of the cross of Christ, they may find courage to face life. We pray to the Lord. Lord for all of us here present and for our families, that by the intercession of Mary, those who see Christ may find him, sinners may be converted, Young people may open their hearts with enthusiasm to the gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord God of infinite purpose, attentive to the supplication of your people and with the prayers of Mary, mother of your son and mother of the church, to help us listen to our pleas and increase our faith. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, we offer you these gifts of reparation and of praise 
so that in celebrating this feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary, you may absolve us from our sins and guide our wavering hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks as we celebrate the feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary and praise you for your gifts. She, receiving your word in her immaculate heart, merited to conceive him in her virginal womb, and in giving birth to the creator of the world, she prepared the birth of the church. She, in receiving at the foot of the cross the testament of divine charity, received all men as her children, born to eternal life through the death of Christ. She, when the apostles were awaiting the coming of the Holy Spirit, the promised one, united her supplications to the prayers of the disciples and thus became the model of the suppliant church. She then, finally elevated to the glory of heaven, surrounds with her maternal love the pilgrim church and lovingly directs their steps to the heavenly dwelling place until the glorious coming of the Lord. And so with all the angels and saints, we proclaim your glory and join in their unending hymn of praise. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed the fountain of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, the death he freely accepted, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for the many, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread, this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the apostles, and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other a sign of Christ's peace. Agnus Dei, qui tolles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolles <coughs> miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolles peccata mundi, Dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Lord, having received with joy these heavenly sacraments, grant us, we pray you, that they may lead us to eternal life, where we may rejoice forever with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son and Mother of the Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Anyone who has religious articles to be blessed, bless them now. Lord, look upon your people who bring before you these objects of faith and devotion. We pray that they might be blessed as they use them in a spirit of faith and devotion. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. To God.